Welcome to this pre-concert introduction to the New European Ensemble's live stream concert number 15. Camille Saint-Saëns was one of France's leading composers in the late 19th century. He's most remembered for works like The Carnival of the Animals and Danse Macabre. His caprice on Danish and Russian airs for flute, oboe, clarinet, and piano was written for a series of Easter week concerts that took place in 1887 in St. Petersburg, Russia. Sansals played the piano at these concerts with his friends and colleagues. He dedicated the piece to Tsarina Maria Fyodorovina, who had been born in Denmark. The piece was a terrific hit at the time because of the way it incorporates folk themes with woodwind colors and dazzling piano passages. Dutch composer Marius Flothaus was prolific. He wrote dozens of works for orchestras, choirs, and numerous chamber music settings. He was captured by the occupying Germans in World War II for his refusal to cooperate with the regime from his position as assistant director of the Concertgebouw. He survived his internment and went on to hold professorships in Utrecht and Salzburg. Flothaus was working on his Sonata de Camera for flute and piano in 1943 when he was captured and imprisoned. He completed the piece in prison The work is neoclassical in style and makes use of the 18th century church sonata form, or sonata de chiesa, as its departure point. Louis Andriessen is perhaps the best-known Dutch composer of our time. His works from the 1970s and 80s were of a revolutionary nature. Andriessen wished to dispose of the conventions surrounding Western music and forge a new music that was radical in its use of simple tonalities and frequent repetitions. The piece Anlop and Sprunge, Rincorsa e Salti, which means to run up and jump for flute, oboe, and clarinet from 1961, was written in a neoclassical style when Andriessen was only 22 years old. This predates his more innovative and experimental style that he went on to develop. The Jewish-Dutch composer Leo Smit was among the most talented composers from the Netherlands in the first half of the 20th century. Sadly, he died at the hands of the Nazis in the concentration camp at Sobibor in 1943. Smit's flute sonata was written shortly before his capture by the Nazis and remains his last finished work. The carefree outer movements seem worlds away from the horrors that engulfed Europe in the 1940s, while the slow middle movement may bear some connection with the tragic circumstances of the time. The French composer Darius Millot was a famed member of Les Six, a revolutionary band of Paris-based composers who sought to alter the course of music history by making modern music simpler, more accessible, and light-hearted. Le Boeuf sur Toi remains Millot's most recognized composition. Because 
Because of his Jewish background, Mio fled to the United States in 1940, where he went on to teach students like Dave Brubeck and Burt Bacharach. As a result, he had an outsized impact on the development of American jazz and popular music. The Sonata for Flute, Oboe, Clarinet, and Piano was written in Brazil in 1918. The piece incorporates exotic tone colors and rhythms from South America and is in a modern polytonal compositional style where two or more tonalities are layered on top of each other. pays homage to the city of Rio de Janeiro, bustling full of life and contrasting colors, personalities, and cultures. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the concert and please like and subscribe and stay up to date with the new European Ensemble.